30 years ago. There was no internet, there were no cell phones, and now I can text someone and they can respond within seconds. I can check my email, I can check the news. That's only available because of semiconductor technology. The semiconductor chips are required in so many devices, from ATMs to barcode scanners to cars, drones, military equipment, medical equipment, so much more that uses chips now to perform their functions. It's been awesome learning from something that seems so small just to see how it can be incorporated into everything in your everyday life. Dig deep, see what fascinates you. The future of semiconductors is going to be absolutely insane. There's just so many more opportunities and amazing jobs and amazing money to be made with this path. You're going to have options everywhere you turn, so it's just up to you to just try and find them and what fits you best. There's something out there for everyone. So when we talk about semiconductors as a material, we're referring to an element or a compound that has a resistance that falls in between a conductor, like copper, and an insulator, like glass. Silicon is the most common semiconductor material. Silicon is made from purified sand. It's low cost, it has a high melting point, it's abundant. We can change the electrical property of silicon. We can add other materials, such as arsenic, boron, phosphorus, that changes how this semiconductor conducts. And by doing that, we can build other structures on top. We can then apply a voltage to it and control current with it. There's a variety of complexities that we can build on these wafers, just starting with that initial silicon. So what I'm holding here is a 12-inch wafer. This wafer is what we use to manufacture DRAM and NAND technology or memory uh, here at Micron in Boise. We buy wafers from a different company and the wafers look like this when we first buy them. They're bare silicon wafers. Through a process of adding removing layers over and over again, we get a wafer that looks like this. What you're seeing here is thousands of tiny little squares on this wafer. Each one of these little squares is called a die and that die gets cut up and packaged in our test and assembly areas and then sold to our customers who then use that memory in all kinds of electronics all over the world. In manufacturing, semiconductor specifically, the equipment is getting increasingly sophisticated and incredibly complex. Our program ready and enables students to be able to work on equipment like that because that's what the semiconductor industry needs. We're working very closely with companies like Micron to be sure that we do have a good understanding of that equipment and continuing to evolve. For the mechatronics program in particular, we've really embraced modern technology. We're bringing things in that weren't here before. So there's something called HMI. HMI stands for Human Machine Interface. You can almost think of it like a little touch screen. So they use it on factory floors to control their equipment, to see the status of various sensors. I designed these little trainers that integrate that into our PLC trainer. PLC is a programmable logic controller. It's more of the brains behind that. So an HMI is how I interface with the system. And then the PLC is the brains of the system that knows the program and knows how to run that piece of equipment. There were quite a few notable projects and experiences that I had here at CWI that set me up for my future and what I'm doing now. The PLCs was amazing because now I'm kind of one of the lead software people for the company that I work for. And then also the robotics, just having that core knowledge, being able to revert back to that with what I do in my everyday job. Every semester they're changing, they're growing, they're just making us into the best possible people that we can be to go out and set us up for our future. So students that are interested in sort of the semiconductor world, there are a variety of roles. We have electrical engineering, chemical engineers in semiconductor. We have computer engineers in semiconductor, manufacturing engineers, manufacturing technicians, material science engineers. You can work in the industry supporting non-STEM fields like business and learning and education. There are countless ways to contribute here. The best thing the students can do right now is broaden your horizons. I absolutely encourage you to take more math, science, technology. Look for extra learning uh, past high school, whether it be a trades, which is really, really helpful, or going on to college, CWI, getting your associate's degree or bachelor's degree in anything you might be interested in. Regardless of whether it's a big company or a small company, I 
gained a lot of options here at CWI in the mechatronics program. Micron does their semiconductor fab, but Autoval is building buildings, and it's all within the same discipline. Our technicians can work in either of those factories. There's really a broad range of places we can go to work.